an <coughs> extremely uh, entertaining and memory filled talk. And I now call uh, Dr. Anant Nairan to please come and give the opening address. Cut down my talk because we have a panel discussion. And I thought possibly, since I'm supposed to wind up, I would add my thoughts at that particular time. And then we could share, because we are running short of time. And in the morning itself, uh, Dr. Hegde said, we have Indian stretchable time rather than Indian standard time. I think if uh, people agree, we could break, have a cup of tea, and then get back, and then start the panel discussion. In our Indian scriptures, we have yad bhavam tad bhavati. As you think, so you become. So ultimately what he said is that, if I think I'm going to be all right, I'm going to be well, I am. The only book, as he listed out a lot of things, I think I could also rattle down quite a lot. But then one book that really has brought about a change in millions of life happens to be a book written by Louis Hay. There's nothing else that I could talk about. Yes. I remember a, a saying taught to me by my professor of pharmacology. When you fall sick, please go to a doctor, for he should survive. Get the prescription, go to a chemist, buy the medicines because the chemist should survive. Come home, don't take the medicine because you should survive. <laughs> that was... The thing that he taught me, I follow it even today. And that way, if you look into the whole day we discussed, it was full of energy. And we also said that energy is the principle which brings about things. If anyone has read the autobiography of a yogi, you would understand. Atoms come together and then they shape themselves. That's the way he had the vision of his guru. So there is so much energy. If you look into our scriptures, we always chant mantras. The sound energy, the vibrations do go and have their impact. Probably that's the way how probably when you visit a temple or a church or a mosque, the sound energy definitely transforms you and then you get the cure. Besides the so-called allopathy. And if you look into this also, we see the effect of the sound waves. We have stories of Abhimanyu and Prahlad in the Indian scriptures where that had gone in and then they were able to transform themselves and they were able to show. These are proofs, evidence that we have. The concept of offering food before we could partake as Nivedan also brings about changes. And that is what possibly we call as Nivedana, Naivedyam. And then you take this food, it removes all the impurities and then it gives you the good ones. They have probably given us examples, they have shown us we never probably had the guts to inquire from them as to why this need to be done. In childhood when we used to ask, they would say, you are impertinent. Just obey what we say. We started but today's generation is not like that. Unless they are convinced, they are not ready to accept. Unfortunately, we are not in a position to convince them because we ourselves were not convinced. I am happy that today we have a generation coming up with a lot of conviction and passion. That's the way how things are. The same thing holds good for music therapy. Today we know very well certain rags do have an impact on the body and cure diseases. And therefore music therapy has also become one of the complementary or alternate medicine today. We should possibly include that also. The best example is the lullaby of the mother. What else is needed? A standing evidence for us. And as clearly it was said, what is there in the anda is there in the pinda. The macrocosm and the microcosm. All these points had come out very well. And possibly that is what is important. Afternoon when we had the discussion, Dr. Hegde and Chopra put together, we're talking of epigenetics. 
the environment. Maybe if you look into the scriptures again, it's very well said. Satsangatve nitsangatvam. Nitsangatve nirmohatvam. Nirmohatve nischalatatvam. Nischalatatve jeevan muktihi. Good company. The environment is only that. So if you are in good company, it's good. So if you have positive thoughts, the positive energy is always there. So if you are life positive, it is. And that's what Louis Hay had again said, life loves you. Yeah. And if you could go through that, I think I would definitely take page 91. Yeah. Don't think only Hegde can quote the pages. <laughs> I can also quote. It's about forgiveness. All about forgiveness. Okay? That's the way how it is. So when you keep a good company, you develop a good aura around you. And that is why possibly you had a halo around the so-called saints and seers and sages. You are able to see that they had always good thoughts. They forgive. They forgave people. Right? That's the way how things. They were full of love, compassion. And we had a discussion on the photography, the Korean photography, the aura that has been taken. Anyone who is full of love and compassion always throws out pink radiations. That's been well proved. If you're angry, the radiations are different. And it's not only with human beings, even with animals and inanimate objects. That was also brought in. We always talked of Satyam Bada Dharmam Chara. Satyameva Jayate, Hegde said, but then there is a problem. He said, it is not. Because the scriptures again mention Satyam Maha Bheshajam. Truth cures. Why I say that is, that happens to be the motto and the logo of Jipma Pondicherry. And therefore, that's it. We always talk, I want peace, I want happiness, because we are still self-centered. It's not that we want peace, we want happiness. And the solution is there itself. Remove the I, the ego, which causes the maximum problems. Remove the want. The peace is there, the happiness is there. But how much or how many of us ever understand the significance of removing the ego and removing the want? We have become so greedy. And that's the reason why we have so much of illnesses around us. And if you could have positive thoughts, your life becomes positive. Dr. Hegde said, there were 242 chemicals in the umbilical card, with all those chemicals that had been there. But if you could think of life being positive, I think you can give more than 242 good things going into the body, good things going into the umbilical card, and you might possibly have a good child with positive thoughts and positive energy. Ultimately, it only boils down to this Yad bhavam, tad bhavati. As you think, so you become. As you sow, so you reap. Let's all have good thoughts. And we will definitely come out with good things. That's what it says. All of us possibly do our MBA. Apologies to Dr. Sharmila, an MBA student there. And there are quite a few. All of us know how to manage outside things. How many of us have understood how to manage our inner self? If we are able to manage our inner self, I think you can manage the entire world. And that is possible only through life positive. And that's all that we had the whole day. The carry home message is be positive, life positive. My blood group is be positive.